Dig through the ditches, I burn through the land in the back of my Dragula. Hi. What's up, everybody? What's up, homeboy? Hi, Kareem. <clears throat> Hi. Shut up, Brad. Shut up, Brad. Second period is always the least period. Brad can stuff it. It's a different Brad. This is the Brad I actually like, but right now, not good, Brad. Not good. I love you too, man. Jesus, I gotta turn. I gotta turn the sound off on the TV. <laughs> oh God. Please turn on the power play, Brad. Here we go. Uh, what's going on? Hi, Tracy. Hi, Flo. Hi, Bijou. Jackson House moved to Henry Ford Museum? What? No, it didn't. Jackson House. My, Jackson House Gary. Why am I even doing this? No, it didn't. I would have heard something. I did not. Ah. Oh, your son and daughter-in-law visiting. Hello. Hi, Randall. You're Andy. Hey, Randy, what where what was that town we stayed in that bordered Nevada and Utah? Where we stayed at that Motel 7. Thank you, Tracy. Cry Museum video. Thank you. You liked it. Hello from Pennsylvania. Lynn. Hello, Susanna. Bundy car was I know uh Addo, I didn't expect to see I forgot about the OJ car that would it was there as well. Let me see what's happening. Make sure notifications are on. They are okay. Uh who else? Who else we got? Dion Geraldine, what's up? Georgia Geraldine. Robert Tucker in Indianapolis. Jaden, what's up, my man? Hi, Kevin Ambrose Way. I I got as I spoke to you earlier today. I have the pictures. I've got I'm in phone, iPhone hell right now. Transferring these phones. Uh, Justin is in the Air Force. Hall, Haley, I, get, I have my contacts and I can't see. I can't see a thing. I only see the distance. Alberta, I made some special videos for you that are going to. You're gonna. I'll send them. Try to send them tonight. But my iPhones are screwing up. Thank you for the lovely gifts and Flo. Let me see if this works. Thank you, Flo. You get the DJ air horn, courtesy of Holly D. What's up, Scout? What's up, Tina? The London Crime Museum. I'm sure I would love it. Thank you, Alberta. Alberta, I'm actually wearing the Halloween shirt underneath. Wendover. Thank you, Randy. Wendover. I don't ever want to go back there again. I liked the um, when we got out of the car at the intersection where in the middle of the night. Otherwise, Flo, once again, Flo, I was not in Nashville, but I will be soon. I will be in Nashville at some point. I just don't know when. Hi, Chai Jana. Where's VNA? I can't see properly because I got my distance contacts in. I'm taking them out. Hold on. This is brutal. Mm. Okay, now I can see. Ah, oh, Leafs are losing still. Hi, VNA. No gear. Hi, Wendy. How's everybody doing? Hi, April. Hi. Will I be doing a video on Richard Lewis? Probably one day. Uh, hello, Tom. Gary. Uh, UK, I would like to go to Lisa, but uh, right now, yeah, financially, no. Time-wise, no. And dog-wise, definitely no. Hi, Melanie with a Y. Hello, Paul. Oh, Pauline's on, too. Is Danny on? Not that I don't like seeing Pauline and Kevin, but let's be honest. Mark is the real star of everything. 
My daughter-in-law lives near the Strawberry Festival. Oh, what the hell's the name of that town? I went to that. I went to the Strawberry Festival last year. Hello, Olivia. Hello, Ilana. My day, Melanie, with a Y, is straight shit. You know, it, it, it was a very long day. It's been a very long three days since I got back. I've had no sleep. I'm doing it. I'm living life. Thank you, Alice Martinez. Scott, best restaurants for first timer? Oh, in L.A.? Hollywood and Highland, man, get the bacon-wrapped hot dogs on the street. That's all I know. Dude, I'm not a foodie. Alice, thank you. Although, I do recommend going to the Grove. There's the Farmer's Market. That's my favorite place. Do not get the oysters. You'll get sick for a month. You will not get off the toilet. I, it was a rough time. But I I people, I go to restaurants all the time in LA. I just can't remember them. Thank you, Dion Morin. How are you going to name yourself after a damn gun and have a man bun? You sound like a bitch, bitch. Suzanne, I'm sorry to hear that. Think of Boo Brooks. That's the best name ever. You literally have the best name ever, Boo Brooks. I would love to hang out with you. If you had a brother named Bubba. This is Boo. This is Bubba. Scott, your footwear game is hella impressive. Thank you, Zena. You got to see. Ah. Ah, thank you, Cheryl Appleman. Um, Steve, I'm not excited for the new Ghostbusters movie. I'm excited for the new Julia Louis Dreyfus movie about her daughter that's dying. It looks very sad and depressing. But I I'll see the Ghostbusters movie when it comes on, like TV, like, you know, like when you can order it. You're in Los Angeles right now. Oh, great, Steven. Did you, uh, did you write? I think somebody wrote me. Oh, thank you, Walona. Wow, so many nice people. Thank you. The weather, Jennifer, is awesome here in Toronto. It's like springtime and it's so warm. Elizabeth, I am a polite man until I till somebody makes me cross that line and then I become a raging bitch. Does that old radio work in the background? That is not an wait, that is not an old radio. That if you watch my Instagram, that's the Eminem uh Flare Boombox. And I wonder if it's gonna work with my new phone. Because it doesn't work with this phone. It's really fucking confusing. Everything is so hi, Reverend Jenny. Yeah, I become the Hulk, Cheryl. No, I just I just get mad and I want to kick recycling boxes. So that was a gift from Pete from the Totally 80s room. So I I brought that all the way back from the States on Saturday morning. I had to get that across the border in the plane. It was ridiculous. John Wayne Gacy's wig? Yep, I have it right here. No, I don't. Yeah, it's pretty badass. It, it was working great. Now I can't fit. Now it, it won't connect to anything. Boom box. Thank you, Melanie, with a Y. Let's get some Gary going. So this phone is going back to the States tomorrow I, or Tuesday, if I make it, Wednesday, if I make it in time. I had a lot of phone issues on that last. So I was away for three weeks in Florida and Atlanta and Georgia. I came home for about a week in Toronto. And then I flew back down for two weeks. So I just got back Saturday. So I was gone for five weeks in total. Seven over the course of seven weeks, I was gone for five, but I'm back here till the end of March. Cracked iPhone, Glenn. You don't even know. You want to see a cracked iPhone? Oh no, I said it's given back. I can't show. Oh, I have a picture of it. Do I have a picture of it? I took a picture of it. I don't know where it is. I took a picture of it today on the on the counter when the guy was that it was in surgery. Wait, there it is. There in his hand. Uh, but I took a picture of what it looks, what what happens to an iPhone when a Jeep runs over it. Leaves down what? Three zip? Two zip? Three zip? Hmm. Hmm. You know what? It's going to be fine. Is Boombox made by Sony? I don't know. I think Eminem made it himself. Bring back fashion police? I should. Me and my 65 plus communities, I know. Uh, Lisa, good question. Paxford asks, do they say why they keep the wig in storage? Um, cracked iPhone, what are you, 12? Brad's brain, please just relax. And if you can, go fuck yourself. Lisa, they keep the wig in storage because they don't have space to display it. I don't. I think they would in that spot above the, the thing. I don't know why. I spoke to the owner about it, and he's not sure why either. 
he, he thinks it should be on display too. So we're hoping that it gets on, uh, 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 they're hoping to put it on display. It's a crazy item. What's happening, LA Rams? What's happening, Frank Folder? Mary. What's the ex's number in Florida asking for a friend? <laughs> I can't give out Linda's number. She's my girl. Uh, thank you, Elizabeth Garcia. I'm going to get my old style going here. Here we go. Gary! Gary! Yes, I, I think I think I think they should um put the wig right in the in the where they are too as well. And you'll be in Florida in six days, Melanie. Ah, oh, you're gonna have a lot of fun. You'll be visiting Pigeon Forge this summer. Tech, I'm telling you, you know what? Tech knowledge. If you're looking for a place to stay, there's a Best Western right on the strip. It was great. Wasn't it? It was it was probably it's gonna be more expensive in spring in the spring and summer for sure. But I paid like nothing for it. I had a beautiful indoor pool, beautiful outdoor pool, which I didn't go in. But beautiful indoor pool with a hot tub. Rooms were nice. Huge property right there. You can walk everywhere from there if you want to. I did it because I don't want to walk. Um, thank you, Flo. I'm glad you liked the video. And thank you, other Rams. Joni's on now. Hello, Joni. Yeah, Tech, Best Western. I uh, You know what? I may have the uh, still the address of it. It's on whatever the main highway is. It goes through Pigeon Forge. Stupid name for a city. Um, trips. Huntsville, Alabama. Uh, when can we hang out in Tampa? I don't think I'll be back in Tampa this year. Uh, let's see. Best Western Pigeon Forge. Where is it? Best Western Plaza Inn. Is this Pigeon Forge? I'm going to tell you, Tech. Yeah. Yeah. Right on Parkway. The name of the street is Parkway. That's a, See, they can't get anything right. 3755 Parkway. Write it down. 3755 Parkway. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Orlona, but my Martha, Martin Luther King. Mm. Mike69 says Trudeau sucks. I'm not sure if he's trying to get a reaction out of me because he's... Uh, I don't know why he's trying to... You know, he's better than the alternative up here. I don't know if you're Canadian. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. Thank you, Reverend Jenny. Gary. Gary. Kiki asked me uh, how was the weather in Pigeon Forge, and I will tell you that the day I uh, after I filmed that video at, at uh, the Ted Bundy video, I went to film a couple of other videos, and I said I can't do this. I got to come back to. Pigeon Forge is too much. So I drove all the way through the Smoky Mountains to film another video that you'll probably see tomorrow. I might work on it for tomorrow. Um, and it was one of the most beautiful drives. Once you get outside of Pigeon Forge, you go south, you're in the Smokies, and it's amazing. The roads are a little annoying because they're very twisty and turny, but I love it. I have been working hard lately, Andrew. I've got millions of videos. I just got to get them going. Boo boo. When I die, bury me in a pyramid. Thank you. Gary, come in here. Gary, where are you? Okay. Thank, oh, who said I love your channel? Thank you, Carol. What's the energy drink for tonight? Bijou, we got ourselves a Kickstart grape. I got to finish. These I brought back. Uh, they're not my usual zero sugar. They're 10 grams of sugar. So I'm about to gain 40 pounds. Thank you for your sympathetic and thoughtful content during Black History Month. Just to let you know, it's deeply appreciated. Thank you, Trey C. Trey underscore C. Love the hairstyle. That's rare to hear that, but thank you. Charles, thank you. I think that's my old friend Charles in Minnesota. Wait. Thank you, Charles. Everybody's so generous. Right? Thank you. This will help get me back on the road. Um, I want to say to Trey, um, I have a lot more Black History Month content to come. Unfortunately, a lot of it is heavy editing. So I was on the road. There's about two videos, I would say, that are of utmost... Uh, uh, I took took a lot to do and put up. I, I took a lot to do to film, so they'll be coming soon. I would consider them part of Black History Month. And then a lot of other videos I filmed down in the Lancer area and stuff like that, so I hope you like what's coming. What's up, Midwest Flesh? What's up, Karen? How are you? I saw a picture of your boy, Jesse, yesterday. You making plans to visit when? When are you coming, Karen? Tell Jesse to message me on Instagram, and I'm going to try to receive it if I can figure out Instagram on my new phone. Uncle Brenton's yelling, Gary. Um... So, Trey, I have lots more coming. I'm glad you liked it. But the Martin Luther King one was incredible to do. That was, 
I was amazed. I was there. Steve, thank you. Yep. There's something coming about Emmett Till. That's the biggest video I've ever done in my life. Uh, the and and I've lost all the footage. I've not no, I've I have all the footage. I lost all the edits with what happened in my phone. Vlog La Hola, California. What's there? Gotta go. Bye. Bye, Glenn. Is that Glenn? Is that Glenn Glenn? Glenn, I think you texted me. I'm not getting texts on my new phone. I'm only getting them on my old phone. I'm like living in the ice age here. The Dion Quintuplets. Hi, Bernadette. Thank you, Boo Boo Romero. About doing a cemetery together. Nate's here and there wants to do a cemetery with me. Where do you live? Thank you, Melanie with a Y. Everybody likes the Martin Luther King one. Thank you. I I will yeah, but there's the boombox, Steve. I was with Steve last two weeks ago. It's been two weeks now, Steve, since we were hanging out. But I see you more than I see people. Oh, uh, thank you, Weasel. Uh, you wait. Uh, thank you, man. Weasel ways. Um, this phone. I can tell you I've got so Jerry. much. Jerry. So much more coming from Atlanta and uh, Macon, Covington for my Patreon. Uh, but uh, another. Oh, I've got another one in Columbus. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll put that one up tomorrow. I might put my Columbus video up tomorrow. And then I was filming last week in Atlanta, this whole week leading up to Saturday morning, and the weather was brutal. It ruined everything. Are you watching Eagle's Nest with Three Eggs? Is that a TV show on Netflix? What is that? Is that real? Jennifer, I'm not. Oh, Charles, good to... It is my friend Charles. Guys, Charles was in my Fargo video a long time ago. Charles is a great guy. Put me up at his hotel that he worked at at the time. And uh, we did a Mary Tyler Moore video together that I've never put up. And it's only because I felt like I didn't have enough information on the show when I was doing it. Am I doing a collab with Adam anytime soon? Not anytime soon that I know of. Greg Rack is unsubscribing. Greg, we're going to miss you here at Scott on Tape. We all enjoyed having you as part of the family. Um, what can I say? People come, people go. And Greg Rack, we salute you. Everybody, if you have a beverage, hold it up for Greg. He's unsubscribing from the channel. Greg, we're going to miss you uh, down here at the plant and everything you did for us. Greg. Greg. Come on, Greg, look at me. Greg, are you, I promise you, Greg, if you stay, if you don't unsubscribe, if you stay subscribed to my channel, I promise you, I will put up a video about a dead wrestler. If that's what if that's what you like. Greg, I don't know. I don't know what you like. Polly Shore, what's up? Hey guys, Polly Shore's on. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Oh boy. Pour one out for Greg. He's out. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Michelle Sterling in the house. We'd rather have more people coming than going. I miss Greg already, too, Lisa. I know. I know. You know, it, it, it doesn't take much for someone to make an impact. And sure, up in 30 seconds ago, he was a complete stranger, but he touched me. Sort well, yeah, I think. Um, Greg lit up a room. He did. Thank you, Sarah. Um Oh, James Lake is in Columbus. Greg, come back. He I, I'll sh show, show me on the doll where Greg touched you. Right there in the eyes. He ripped open the eyes. Is Suge Knight still alive? He is. He is. I don't know how he's doing. We don't talk as much anymore. It's My relationship with Suge is fractured ever since I left uh, Death Row Records. Um... What else we got? Chilling with the weasel tonight. Guys, we got Polly Shore in the room. I'm sure it's the real Polly Shore. Did he touch you inappropriately? Everyone does, Suzanne. Mid Steve, I, I'm staying in the church. You can't handle that church. Don't beg Greg. You're right. Tough love. Goodbye, Greg. Greg, come back. Greg. Greg. Am I pronouncing it right? Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. Grog. Come back. Grog. There's so many more cool videos coming. Hi, Alex. When are you going to make another video? Face of the Forgotten. I love Ron to death. I don't know when I'm going to see Ron again. Greg Gonski. There he is. Look what he just said. Lose one, Greg, then two shall grow in its place. This man is wise. 
Greg does some Greg Gonski does something to do with animation and computers and I don't know what. Uh for the most part, he's blew it. You blew it. But I love Greg Gonski. Greg, I was in your fucking town, man. You you, you never messaged me to say let's hang out. We would have tore up some shit and been home by seven. But yeah, next time, Greg, we should hang out when I'm down in Georgia. Scott, what's cracking, homie? Not too much, Kenny. Can you say hi to Wanda, please? She's your biggest fan. Wow, Wanda needs to get her priorities straight. If I'm a, if, if, oh no, she, my biggest fan, but maybe she has people she's bigger fans of. Yeah, so no. Okay, hi, Wanda. Scott, let's do a cheers for the 30th anniversary of John Candy's passing. Yes. Uh, that was yesterday, right? Was it? it? Yeah, and we're coming up on the anniversary of Kurt Cobain's overdose uh, in uh, Rome, right? No, that's past. Isn't that like March 1st? Uh, then his death anniversary is coming up. Hatfield and McCoy. McCoy's, yeah. You know what? That, for some reason, Ricky, Hatfield and McCoy's thing is so, uh, there's so much with it. It's never really interested me that much. But Faces of the Forgotten Ron, I would love to do a video with Ron again someday soon. He's taking the he's taking the summer off, spring summer off. So I hope to see him soon. Where's Brian Adams? He's in my trunk. Favorite hip-hop gangster rapper other than Eminem? Other than Eminem? I don't even know if I consider I am a gangster rapper, but Easy E. Definitely. Ice Cube. I love them. I love, I love, there's a lot. Thank you. Your video about moving back to Florida is badass. Thank you, Manny. Am I going to release that car video? Which one, Kiki? I've already forgotten. Seriously, I have. The one I did of all the famous cars? Yes, I'm going to put that up. Can, can I do a video of vlog? I'm not a vlogger, Chris. Vlogger is like an everyday thing. I don't know why I get upset about that. I'm not upset. Chris Brown. Hey, Chris Brown, you've got you've got some good songs, but you've got some anger issues. Um, what, like just go to Quebec and say, here I am in Quebec. Bonjour. And just show Quebec? Like the, you know, I don't know. Nice to see you again too, Sharon. Disneyland or California Adventure? Jennifer, I haven't been to either in a long time. Not a theme park guy, but I like to... California Adventure sounds hot. Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Feel it. Feel it. Feel the vibration. Gotta love Marky Mark. Uh, my birthday was on Saturday. Kimberly, oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Uh, Jacob, happy birthday, dear Kimberly. Happy birthday to you. Uh, the Jacob Wetterling. Actually, that's something uh, I was going to do. With Charles, because he knows he knows the family. So I got to get out to Minnesota. The one you posted on your story, you said it was boring. Oh, yeah, that one I'm going to put up, but it's it's not what I usually do. Kiki, I usually do. Kiki, I do a um, Kiki. I do a, it, It's interesting. I think it's funny. I'll see. You're binging my older vids, Trey? Thank you. The sites or historical locations of Quebec. I did... I walked around old Quebec City, Chris. If you look back, look up Catch Me If You Can filming locations on my channel. I showed a lot of Quebec in that video. I did two videos in Quebec. I did a lot of Montreal, but I did two in Quebec City. Anything on Eddie Money? No. But, oh, what does my drink taste like? It tastes like I had a grape. My birthday. When's my birthday? In August. Come to BC. I did BC in uh, December of 2020. Charles, if you look back around that time on my channel, you'll find a lot. Mr. Thrasher. I know. Mr. Thrasher's out in LA. I know that. And uh, favorite cemetery. That's a good question, Jennifer. Um, Hollywood Forever is one that I really like going to. But it's also, it's easy because it's so close to where I stay. So I think maybe that's part of why. And I know where everyone is. But so... I can always go and do an individual video on each person, even though I've covered extensively. Force on Hollywood Hills, I know very well. Glendale, I'm starting to know very well, even though it's huge. But there's been lots. I went to the cemetery two weeks ago. That was the tiniest cemetery ever, and I loved it. I like sometimes, you know, like, I went to a couple of sad ones recently to do some sad videos, and it was, but you'll see. Shady will be appearing tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I did Errol Flynn. Yeah, you got a commercial, Jojo. That's right. I did Bonnie and Clyde. Greatest guitar player, The Edge from U2, Mick. 
unpopular hot take, but I love him. But I do like Jimi Hendrix too. Jerry. Jerry. That's for Cat in Oz. Uh, I've got, I got a lot coming. I got stuff coming from the past five weeks that I was away, off and on. And then I've got stuff from California. For, twice in California last year that I was there for long periods of time. Then I got Chicago, Indiana. Dar Agostini, I'm addicted to your videos when I can't sleep. Good. Well, maybe that's why you can't sleep. It's because you're watching the videos. You get all worked up. I'm glad you smoke weed every day. Bloody Harlan. Where's that, Ricky? Ever met Snoop? No, and I wish. Are you kidding me? If I met Snoop Dogg, that picture would be on my Instagram every day. I just keep reposting it. I love South Carolina. Uh, Addo, I took French for eight years in school, two years of private lessons. I dated a French girl for seven years or something like that. I can't remember a word. I used to speak it. Now I can't. I can read it and maybe understand it. I don't know what's going on. I don't have a, I don't have a memory for language. Am I a Green Day fan? Raven, come on. I love the new album. American Idiot, great album. Nimrod, great album. I am based out of Toronto, yes. Thank you. So the day, through my days when I was sad, your videos brought me some smiles. So thank you, Xanadu. Michigan, I've been to so many times, Tony. Uh, we? We. Where? Who is my favorite Disney characters? What? What do you mean? I like Pluto. Was he a pig? No, Pluto's a dog. Porky Pig. I don't think he's Disney, though. I don't know anything about that world. Best, American East or West Coast? Uh, you know, Mick, yeah, I, I love the West Coast. I go there a lot to film, and I've always had dreams of the West Coast and living there and all that. But I was born in the East. You know, it makes you tougher, stronger, harder. I love the East Coast. It sucks in the winter, though. But I'm an East Coast kid. I'm trying to read out as much as I can. Thank you, Hidden Jackpots. Uh, who, Dana on? Uh, your high school nickname, Nimrod. Shut up, Janeth. Thank you for moderating. South Carolina is definitely beautiful. Come to Marshall, Michigan. One of my favorite was the Leonard Skinner you did. Thank you. How uneasy did Orion oh, Nodal, Tampa Bay Lightning fan. I won't hold that against you. Uh, the, to be inside Ted Bundy's car was crazy. Ronnie James Dio, no. And did Wendy Dio buy? No, they don't own the rainbow. Michael's a rainbow. Will I come to Edmonton when they are playing the Leafs in the Cup Final? Brian, I would. If I could get tickets, damn right I would. Suzanne's a New Yorker. My next video should be tomorrow, but I'm having massive uh, uh, issues with uh, the iCloud right now. Video freezes up when you hit the pause button. Don't hit the pause button. For real, for real. For real, for real. Hello, hello. Thank you, Dana, for joining. Dana K. Graves. I'm sure I wasn't able to get back to you. I My phone's been messing up for days. And I was at the Apple Store again today. One serial killer you can interview. Who? Uh, Mick. So I don't, I hate serial killers, but I'm fasc fascinated by the stories of them, of course, as, as I do true crime. I would have to say, uh, Canadian one, Paul Bernardo. I like to be in a room alone with him and talk to him, but I, I it'd be disgusting too at the same time. The real, you well, thank you, man. Thank you, real honest truth. Who's your favorite person in this chat besides you, Brad? Uh, that's tough to say. I like Steve Orgis, he's always cool, and of course, VNA. Uh, she's sweet, Jana. You know, she's here, Jojo. You know. No, I love my three moderators the most because they work. They do it for nothing, and if they asked me to pay them, I wouldn't. So, uh, what can I say? I love them the most. See, Jana knows. Uh, the UK, I don't know. Greg was my favorite. <laughs> Greg was my. Greg's just gone. Oh, Kevin's out. Oh, Kevin, con. Kevin's so fragile. Yeah, you're Kevin. You work for me now. You're the camera. You're my videographer when I'm in Florida. One video, two, three, you film. So you're technically an employee, so I can't choose you. That's like giving myself employee of the month at Scott on Tape Incorporated. Will you be doing a uh, segment on 
James Kotak. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know who that is. Ryan, you're on one of them too. Spot, do another live stream. March 23rd will be the one year anniversary of March 28th. Biscuits on the bow. Wow, thanks, Try. I didn't know that. Hey, kids. Oh, I should put up. I have a video kind of. No, I'll put it up before them. I wish I, Captain, whatever his name was, Captain Josh. Plant City, that's where the Strawberry Festival was. Thank you. Why am I not home in Florida? Because it was a joke. I don't live the question. In the Robert Johnson dog breed video, why did you and partner call it a farm when in fact it was a plantation and after slavery it was used like a plantation? I think he just said it there. It was used like a plantation. It was a very, the history of it is very confusing, Wheel go, uh, Gun Fanboy, and I spoke about that in the video. I said very clearly, if you listen, if you go back and listen, I said they called it a farm, but let's be honest here. The people that were working it did not have much of a choice uh, otherwise. And they were ripped off and, you know, they're using dockery dollars or whatever. So I was very, very clear about that. Thank you, Randomly Randy. George Muell, hello. Oh, you yell biscuits in the bow. Oh. Toby Keith, Craig, I believe Toby Keith is, is buried out in Oklahoma. And I don't um, have plans to go out there right now. My favorite movie is uh, Training Day. You know, I love Equal I love Denzel, Equalizer, Fences. You know, I love Denzel. Thank you, Bill Ness. Oh, Carol, Carol and Earl Honeycutt. Oh, there you go. Have, have a good night. Well, Ed, Bad, Ed Bassmaster, I saw that. Who sent that to me? He's not, the Breaking Bad House. Man, that lady's nuts. But I mean, like, it's her house. I don't know, man. Like, it, she gets really upset. Sell the house. I don't know. No, even that. Hey, Silent Forgotten. I saw your video yesterday. I wanted to write to you on it, but I was in bed falling asleep. Not because your video was great. It was great. He just put up a video on John Candy, guys. Flight. Oh, Mr. Goodfoot. Flight is one of the best movies ever. Okay. Truth is, I was drunk. I'm drunk right now. I love Denzel. What's up, Maurice? Hey, what's up with that kid to play Fade, Scott? That's right, Maurice. You know what? I'm going to meet up with you in Chicago this year, Maurice, and we are going to get it done. Uh, Faces of the Forgotten. I'm on one of his videos, Bobby. I'm in two of his videos. One we walked around in a grave in Chicago. The other one we did in Florida. Uh, might want to search Faces of the Forgotten slash Scott on tape on YouTube. He may have put me in the title. I don't remember. But the one I filmed with him, the microphone got messed up. Yeah, Flight is one of the best movies ever. Oh, I love and Eight Mile, of course. Yeah, there's obvious movies. Friday Thirteenth, you know, stuff like that. How's How's Denzel do it? You know, I was drunk. Truth is, I'm drunk right now. <laughs> Glory's a great movie. Rob Roy. I didn't like Rob Roy, Virginia, but I, I don't, I, it was too long, I think, when, at the time when it came out. It was, you know, I had other things going on, but it's Liam Neeson, right? But I did, I was in the Goonies. That is correct. Not a lot of people know that. I was sloth. Ruth, baby. Ruth, baby. I did not get a new tattoo last week. I was hanging out with Steve, the tattoo artist, and it didn't happen. Favorite concert? Uh, Eminem in, in Boston, George Michael in uh, Toronto, U2 in Philadelphia, uh, Bleachers in Los Angeles. There's a ton. Have I seen Equalizer 3? Mike, I bought it. I'll, I liked it that much, Equalizer 3. Uh, we have to watch... Tra you never watched Training Day? You have to... Okay, Training Day is the same director as Magnificent Seven. Antoine Fuqua. And Ethan Hawke and Denzel are in it together. You have to watch Training Day. What's up, Sarah? Hello from the gang. Kathy, Kelly, and Sarah. Kelly and Sarah. What's up, Robbie Lynn in North Carolina? Dune. I don't have an interest in Dune, but I, I did take you on. I took you on a location for prom night. I did that with Sean Clark and myself. I did it. Do I get an invite to the Oscars? Oh, I don't think I've gotten an invite to anywhere. Actually, people send me advice to, to different things across the country, and I just I can't just fly for one thing. You have to watch Training Day. Okay, all right, all right, okay, okay, all right. Ha <laughs> ha. How much was the museum in Pigeon Forge? Diggity wiggity wah. Well, thankfully, the owner of the of the artifacts he got me in. They didn't charge me. 
I would have paid fine, but I think it would sit something like twenty seven dollars plus five dollars for the audio tour, something like that. American Sniper, love it. Last Airbender, never saw it. Oh, Jeepers Creepers, that's right. Somebody wrote to me about that about Jeepers Creepers. Just reason I know it. Yeah, this, this is the year. All the Equalizer movies, I could put them on. Any hints on my next video? Well, Dan, it's, um, I've got lots of non-grave videos coming. But a lot of the grave ones that I've done are easier to put up. And I've got a lot of work to do this week outside of YouTube, getting stuff done here in Toronto because i got to leave again soon for something. So I'm going to put up some easy videos. And then when I get some time next week with nothing to do, I'm going to edit all my big videos. So this is the Red Room. Holy shit, I finally caught one of your lives. You certainly did, Sean. And you picked a doozy. We had somebody walk out. Sean, Sean Leiter, you're not going to believe this. Thank you. This is the best live you could have chosen because somebody said to me they're unsubscribing and they haven't responded yet. So it looks like they actually did unsubscribe and they left. Woo! It's been a roller coaster of emotions in here. Golden ticket history, my boy Sean. I don't think there's much left of the Jeepers Keepers locations. There's the street. You know, there's really nothing left. It sucks. The original location, even the library uh, that they use at the end of the movie, which was a library, which is the police station. It was supposed to be the police station, was a library. It's torn down. Yeah. His loss. Navi McLife was never unsubscribing again. I do not have a postal address, Mick. Uh, if you write to me on Instagram, I can give you an address to send if you want to send something. But honestly, you don't have to. I, I appreciate it if you want to. Like, I'll give you my But, you know, as, as long as you watch my channel, I'm happy. I have a I, I have an address that people can send me stuff. But I'm going to have lots of stuff. I'm going to have merchandise soon because I finally decided I'm going to do it. So we'll have, we'll have T-shirts, hoodies, tank tops, thongs, long socks, and um, beanies, and dog wear, and hosiery. So, I've been to Jimmy Hendrix Creator a few, five, a few times. I've done like two videos. You will subscribe and say hi from England. What's up, Brian? What's your? Where's your sweet doggy? He's in the other room. Kids shirts too. Sure. Can't they just wear a small? I Amber. I I didn't even think about that because I my channel has so much like you know like when I do serious videos some of them are pretty brutal some of the stuff i talk about the true crimes where i always wonder if kids watch i get messages from younger people but i'm like you know they're old enough to get it but little kids like i swear a lot in some videos you know i like the, i like to drop the f bomb which stands for fuck i like to say that word a lot on my channel because it's not you know we're all adults right but if your kids watch it and, and i i was watching friday 13th and all these crazy fast times of ridgemont high and all this stuff you know when i was Really young, so hey, if your kid can handle it, we'll get some kids merchandise for sure. What came first, Halloween or prom night? Halloween, Halloween 78, prom nights 1980. Look at me, I'm Sean Clark. You really like the Viper Room tour and the whiskey? Thank you, Sean. I'm glad you did, ma'am. They are not used, so yes, all the clothing and all the merchandise I'm selling will be used. Yes, I should have, I should have clarified that it will be used, not by me. I don't know. The F bomb in my world stands for flow. Oh, flow you. Flow off. Oh, Dan, that's great. Jen Dan Smith. I remember. You're, I remember it's Jen. I have my kids rep you. They don't watch, but they can support. Oh, th if I have to support their likes, they can read. That's so true, Amber. Yeah, you support all your kids' likes. That's awesome. Thank you, Warehouse Work with Kim. Nice to see you too. Let me get this going. Yeah, Amber. Make your kids wear my stuff. Jerry. Last time I was in British Columbia, Simon was last. So, no. When I did that Discovery Channel thing. So, was that 20? I can't remember if that was 2022 or 2021. It was 2022. 2021. I don't know. 20, no, that was 2022. I was in British Columbia. I was in, yeah, Vancouver for a few days. Then I drove down to Olympia. Then I came back up. You need a men's 4XL? Okay. We're going to do that. Hey, Face the Ace. Hey, Tammy. What's VNA? VNA's over here making jokes. I guess I can auction off Scott swim trunks. VNA, I almost forgot my swim trunks, my new ones, in another hotel last week. And 
I went back into the room and they were hanging up from, on the rack and I tore them down and I said, you beautiful bastards, I will never let you down. I will never forget you again. Okay, Wendy. Wendy getting back to work. Enjoy work, Wendy McD. Uh, never done anything with Sherman Helmsley, but I'd like to. <clears throat> Speedos. That would be nice to see me in Speedos, though. I enjoy your videos. Thank you very much. Michelin present. Micheline, Micheline present. Last American Virgin has uh, that Virgin has the oh my god that ending scene. Now here I am to you with open arms, hoping you'll see. Yes, that ending of Last American Virgin. Back to Denzel. Your thoughts on Fallen? Fallen. I can't remember. I've seen it. Uh, Alcatraz. Thank you. Do I still talk to Ricky Rocket? I do, Robbie. I talked to Ricky. When I was back in Toronto two weeks ago, I spoke to him. And I spoke to him about doing something in L.A. Got a great idea for him and I. And then he's got he's going to work on a couple of ideas with him and his friend Lauren for us to do. I love Ricky. He's such an awesome. Ricky is a, a good dude, man. He's he's a rock star, like a real-life rock star. But he's super down-to-earth and cool. Do you get any job offers after the male stripper idea? Hmm. Uh, some things that will remain a secret. You want to do a video together, face the ace? Where do you live, man? Last cemetery I went to, uh, self built. I don't want to, uh, I almost said it. I don't want to say because I didn't finish my video there. So I have to go back to Atlanta again this year soon because there's some videos I did not get to finish. Have you have you been to Stan Lee's grave? I think he has a grave. Marilyn Merle's sister's buried down the road for you. Wow. Uh, so what's a vlogger versus Scott on tape? Well, Charlotte, I think a vlogger, I, I think of a vlogger, I've been saying this for a long time, I think a vlogger is somebody who does their daily life or does uh, stuff about themselves, you know, like a blogger. So a vlogger to me is somebody who records their everyday life and then it could be about something else, but it's what they're doing that day and just like, you know, like a video diary for the world to see, which is cool. Or they film talking about themselves. Mine are, I have, each one of my thing videos is a subject. You know, it's not about me. It's about the subject. So that's the way I look at it. <laughs> hey, it's Pete from the Totally 80s room, everybody. I wish I had some Johnny Carson entrance, entrance music. Let's see. Well, I've already spelled Johnny wrong. Entrance music. It's Pete from the to This is the theme song. Wait. Oh yeah, we got, we got to get back. Unlock a hotel deal. Celebrate. Pete's on. Hey, Pete. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from a small town south of Ohio, north of Nashville. We're not going to say where it is. The man with the biggest collection of 80s memorabilia and the biggest you've ever seen. And trust me, he makes me look at it. Pete from the Totally 80s Room. Come on in, Pete. That's what it would sound like if we had to talk to so There'd be one person clapping. And then Pete and I would just talk about... Welcome welcome to our glory hole, Pete. Welcome to our glorious hole, Pete. Girl, don't go away, man. Hey, Leslie, I saw you were... um. You met Adam finally. Good for you. Okay, Pete's got to go. Okay, yeah, Pete's got to go. He came in. Pete, great to see you. Anyway, thanks for coming, Pete. Good having you, buddy. <laughs> All right. Okay, can we go to a commercial break? We're going to go to a quick commercial break. We're going to Febreze the furniture that uh, Pete was sitting on because he leaves that odor behind. And uh, we'll be right back after these messages. How is Mark and Linda? I'll, well, Amber, if you're following my Instagram, you're going to see a picture of Mark tomorrow. Because they sent me some... Kevin and his wife, Pauline, and Mark sent me some pictures today. The victims of... Char Charlotte, I do... Uh, victims of serial killers? Charlotte, I, I, you must be new to my channel because the Ted Bundy thing is something that's a little out of character for me to concentrate on a serial killer. That's because I had the opportunity. If you watch my videos about John Wayne Gacy... Paul Bernardo, um, Charles Manson, um, uh, what's what's what 
stupid ass. I, the one I hate the most. Uh, BTK. Ted Bundy. I go to the graves and I honor the victims more. I do not. Way more. I do, I, I do not want to get. I don't glorify serial killers on my channel. My dog will be on soon. Who's Greg? He's some dick, Pete. You should have been here, Pete, because you're like my backup. And you're like my best friend. You could have said something to him. History eyewitness. Victims do just. Hey, no, no, no. Whoever. No, history eyewitness. You just you retracted your statement. I love this guy, history eyewitness. We talk all the time. He's a good dude. Um, I heard Linda has ran off with Greg. Wouldn't surprise me. Thank you. Hello, Vicky. Sly from Rocky Mountain. Sly, so this is Sloan still alive. Am I surprised by the amount of work some actors had achieved before an early death? Uh, never really thought of it like that, but I mean, I'm surprised. I think what I'm surprised by sometimes is when an actor dies young, aside from Heath Ledger, a lot of times it's you know, it's unfortunately it's drugs or something else. So you see a lot of their work before they died and it's not good stuff. And you see where they're, you can see their descent. I'm speaking about Brad Renfro, Brittany Murphy, two of my favorite actors. And, you know, I love them both. And uh, Brittany's my girl for life. And um, they, uh, she was doing a lot of straight to DVD movies at the time. And it's just weird watching their kind of their downfall. And we watch a lot of these people have their downfall before our eyes. I'm headed back to Atlanta not till later. I have no have plans, Dana, but I will be going back. Hercules Hernandez grave? No, I'm just me up, but I was right there. I was right by the uh, Florida National Cemetery. Like I drove right by, and I was like, Hercules Hernandez is in there, but I had somewhere else to be, and I said, I'll go back, and I didn't go back. Thank you, big big bizzle. Homo Sassa, Florida. No way. I love Homo Sassa. Very. I mean, I was there for a very sad reason. But what a beautiful little area of Florida. I'm glad I finally made it over there. It's out face the Aces in Allentown. Well, that's not too far from Toronto, face the Ace. So you got to come up here. Have I ate at a malt shop before? I don't know. Did I? Maybe. River Phoenix? Great. But, of course, he did do a couple. He was signed to interview the vampire. But, I mean, his last two or three movies, they were not they were, they were nothing special. That thing called Love. Dark. Um, dark. What was the name he was doing? Dark. You know, he was working on some, but they were more artistic. They were not, not just, but they wouldn't have been huge hits. Well, that thing you do wasn't. Ken Bartall, if you could be living in any decade of your choice, which one, Mick? You know, I can't remember a lot of the eighties and nineties, but I know I love them. But I'm happy now. New, no, not sorry. Just think, so many people survive killing. They're so brave. Serial kills are a thing I research. So yeah. Thank you for going to Victims Grave. Paul, thank you, Charlotte. I get it. No, I get what you're saying, Charlotte. Thank you for saying that. Um, yeah, he, Tina, he was River Phoenix was cast in Interview of the Vampire, and then he passed away. So Christian Slater took over that role. Thank you, April, about my MLK video. I was very sad when Matthew Perry died as well, Suzanne. I'm a huge fan of Friends and a huge fan of Matthew Perry. I mean, I, I I've always said. There's a special feeling for me as a Canadian when other Canadians make it big, regardless of whether I even like their what they do, whether it be music or whatever. But um, so Matthew Perry is Canadian, you know, and it was it's inspiring to see somebody do that well. That's why I'm a big Corey Haim fan. That's why I'm a Drake fan, Justin Bieber. I love to see fellow Canadians do well. You know, I think it I think in terms of Canadians who have been successful, it goes Drake, Justin Bieber, me, Celine Dion, Brian Adams. Mike Myers. So I'm right below Bieber. What's up, Aaron? Mike, married, to the, married to Michael Myers. Scott asked your dad if he remembers Dick the Bruiser. Well, my dad, uh, Larry, it's, that's going to be difficult. He's not with us any longer, but I shout down at his grave and maybe he'll hear. I'm kidding. My father had a very dark sense of humor. He would laugh. All right. Uh, did you play any bluegrass music? Uh, during my drive, I listened to Willie Nelson. April, I listened to Willie Dolly as I drove through. See, many people left their front door open and people actually spoke kindly to one another. It's very true. I mean, in the 80s, the door was open all day. In the summertime and all that, I don't think it was ever locked. Please take Justin and Drake back. Come on, Kiki. 
Uh, merchandise hopefully will be on sale soon. I don't know when. Ryan Reynolds is Canadian. Yes, he is. But he's not that famous. Nobody really knows who Ryan Reynolds is. I mean, Deadpool. What, what like four people saw that movie. Uh, yes, I Charlotte was saying about the cells. It's, I think that's such a Shania Twain. I think that's such a worse punishment for cells to get smaller. How many? A Pete from the Totally Eighties Room asks, "How many times a year should a grown man soil his pants on average?" Well, Pete, what are we talking here? We talking your age, sixty or older? I mean, that you can't control your bladder at that age, from what I hear. But um, five, you know, what four? One for every season. MC Snow. Hey, History Eyewitness. First of all, his name was not MC Snow. His name was Snow. Get it right, History Eyewitness. I know your real name, but I won't say it. Uh, Snow's real name is Darren O'Brien. He grew up up the street. Up the street. Darren O'Brien. In Farmer. I lick your boom boom down. I lick your boom boom down. Detective Man, somebody, 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 somebody down the lane. I lick your boom boom. Five is too low? Yeah. Pete, why don't you tell us how many times you saw your pants and we'll tell you if you're sick or not. Seven. Ray oh, Randy says seven. I, I travel for a week with Randy and it's uh it's tough in the car with that smell. But he's just so fun. You know, you take it's like, you know, you got okay, horrible smell coming from him, but he's fun. So you weigh it out. You crack a window. I saw Steel Panther a couple of weeks ago. It was like, is Timmy on? Timmy. Eminem is overrated. Legion of Doom, you have just started something you do not want to see me finish. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Timmy, get on the 10, go back to San Vicente, over to the 405, down to LAX, and get the hell out of here. Face the age, you emailed me or you Instagram me? My email's not uh, uh, public. I mean, it could be. I should start an email people to probably. Yeah, I will. Timmy. Go back where you belong. What's up in West Virginia, Sandra? What up, Joe? What up, Thor? Do sharks count? Always. It's not a good idea for anyone. Stuart. Yeah, Facey. I don't think you if you if you send me an email. By the way, I'm in email hell right now. I got two my emails are going to one phone. My texts aren't coming through. I don't know what's happening. Doctor, doctor, can't you see I'm burning, burning? Oh, doctor, doctor, is this love I'm feeling? Do I have Netflix, Suzanne? I do, and the password has been changed twice in the past few days. I don't know what the hell's going on. Does my phone need updated? I got the Cheryl. I can't even get into what's going on with my phones. All I'll say is my phone in two weeks ago, two weeks ago, tomorrow. Was it a Wednesday? What day did that happen, Steve? The Thursday. Two weeks ago this Thursday. No. Yeah, two weeks ago this Thursday. My phone was run over. It was horrible. My phone, brand new iPhone 15, bought to use, needed for the channel was run over by a car. And it was one of the most horrific. Shut up, Kiki. Was one of the most horrific things I've ever seen. No, Kiki, I am a whiz. I'm I speak it out thing. Kiki, I swear to God. I was in the, the Apple I, Apple store in Birmingham, Alabama two weeks ago Friday for five hours. And I was the one that figured out the problem with the new phone before the Apple people did, before my phone technicians did. I figured it out, Kiki. And it broke. And my phone got run over. It got run over, Blondie B. Run over. Told Pete was there. Pete was there. Pete was there. Midwest Flesh was there. It was unbelievable. It was bedlam. It was mayhem. Children were screaming. Women were crying. Bombs were going. It was brutal. I hate Tom McDonald's Summer Rain. I'm sorry. I, people always told me to listen to him. I listened to him. I was like, this music is not for me. I don't hate him, but I, I don't like his music. Sorry, I don't, I don't have a story. Probably great. No, I know exactly who it was. Butterfinger hand. What the hell is that? And you know, good night, Charles. Hope to see you soon. Did I do it, Melly? No, my friend did it. Um, impressive. You thank you, Sarah. Yes, I got my phone run over by a car. Well, see what happened was. What's the strangest thing ever ever experienced at a graveyard? Getting my phone run over by a car, Newman. Newman. He didn't. Um. 
Why do, why does your face look like it's made of wax? <laughs> it's the lighting, fucking JRR. There's no, you know, and I've, I have, I've had a lot of work done as well recently. Thank you very much. Why do you think I travel to the States so much? To the South. They work cheap down there. How's that? Is that better for you, JRR? Good night, Rolona. Is that better? Look. Good Lord. JRR, I swear to God, where do you live? Did the boombox make it? It did, Pete. Look, that's from Pete, guys. Can't figure out how to work it now, but it's here. <laughs> JRR, I love you, buddy. I swear to God. Hold that look on my butt. <laughs> diggity wiggity. All right, diggity wiggity. You got, you got 10 seconds. There you go. Blondie, you, you hit 45 and everything went to crap. When I hit 45, Lonnie, I, I'm sure it will too. Right now, I'm currently a Gen Z, a millennial. I'm a genennial. So 45 is a long way off for uh, someone in their early 20s like me. But I bet I will too. <clears throat> thank Flo, thank you. Scott, I think of it as you just being a shining star, not wax. And Flo has seen me in person. It looks like a car ran over my face. With this lighting and then the red room, it makes it all look, you know, flawless. You know, what can I say? Did you, uh, what celebrities have a man? Uh, a, lot, a lot of them lately are meeting through Sean Clark because he knows I'm a star fucker. I'm like, can I meet them? And he's like, yeah. Man, people in here bullying you. I know, Cheryl, I take it all the time. Can you show us a pic of you after a shower? Bottom, what the hell? <laughs> sure. No. Wait a minute. What? You know what? I did a video in the pouring rain. Oh, thank you, Dana. Come back to tech. It's been four years. I got something special for Dana. Another one. Thank you. So let's just say my phone got ran over. It was a whole problem. And it was a whole issue. I had to get a new phone because they couldn't replace the phone down in Canada, down in Birmingham, Alabama. So I had to buy a new phone. Then today I went to the Apple store here in Toronto with my cracked phone. The guy was very, very nice. And he said, we can fix this. He said, it's not lost. And I said, thank God, because it didn't update onto this phone, the American one. So he did all these tests. He goes, it's it's still got a heartbeat, man. It's still going, man. We, this phone is not dead. And I said, you can fix it. He goes, yeah, we have to replace the front screen and the back screen. I said, do it. Whatever you can, do it. Filled all my information, all that. They said, okay, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be about three hours, and then you, you'll come back, and your phone will be ready for you. I said, thank you. His name is Ashwin. I said, thank you, Ashwin. To have it in a case, of course. Robbie, what am I, a Neanderthal? So I went. I got a coffee from Tim Hortons. Was walking back past the Apple store. My phone rings, the new phone, while my old new phone was being fixed. And he said, Scott. And I said, yes. He goes, this is Ashwin. I said, hi, Ashwin. He said, uh, have you left the mall yet? And I said, no. He goes, I think you might want to come back. And I said, why? And he said, well, it's not good news. And I said, I'm in front of your store right now. I actually can see you on the phone with me. I'll just come in. So I went in and um, he said, and I could tell by his look, he did everything but come out and, you know, let's pretend this is, uh, this is the mask. Ripped it off and came up to me and he said, you might want to have a seat. And I said, I already am. I'm sitting down already. He said, sorry, I couldn't tell. And then he said, so when we put the phone into a heating, they put it into a heating block first to run diagnostics. He already ran diagnostics. I don't know. Turned out the phone, the frame was bent. It's unfixable. So the phone died at 5.02 p.m. today at the Apple store, Fairview Mall, Toronto. And... It was pretty brutal, and it was pretty sad. He held me for a while, longer than I wanted. But so then I said, um, okay, so where's my phone? They said, you don't want to see it now after the heating. Well, I said, no, I'd like to, please. Ashwin is a name. It's a Tamil name, Brad, by the way, Sri Lankan. And I said, can I see it? He said, of course. So they took me into the Apple bereavement room in the back of the store. It's all flowers set up. It's quiet. Kleenex and I sat there with my phone for a while and just you know we don't it was it was only four months I only had the phone 
And it was, I said goodbye. Yeah, thank you. Smelly Sloth gets it. And, well, I said goodbye. And they gave me a replacement phone. And how do you replace love? I said to Ashwin. He said, come here. And again, hug me for far too long. So, yeah. So now iPhones die. Phones die every day. Not new phones, Newman. Newman. So I've got two brand new phones now. And I got to return one to the States somehow. I got to send it back. But nothing's updated onto the new phone, which is in the other room. So I'm having a lot of problems. What's going on with the Toronto Maple Leafs? Is there any change in the game? This is the worst day ever. 3-1! They're coming back. Hey, Scott, we watched your Gilbert Goffey vlog. Thank you. We watched your Clown Motel last night. Thank you. And about Pete, ourselves laughing. Tony and Susie Miller's on the move. Hey, I talked to you before, right? Where do you guys live? Miller's on the move? I should do. I could. I should have thought. You found a Tim Hortons in Alabama? No. His driveway. No, I'm a, I'm in Toronto now. Uh, but I found a phone. He was very compassionate. They all were. They're all very, I mean, they've seen it a million times. Phones die and how people react. But they, you know. Okay, you'll get a picture of me in the shower. Not of you. Of your. I know, it's on my hair. Was it an open casket? Suzanne, there is. What I saw in that back room today was not something people should see. It's not something a human being should have to see. The state that my phone was in. Because it would, they started to take it apart in the heating box. And um, they put it back together as best they could. Then we erased the data and I watched it slowly drain off on the big screen. They hook it up to a bigger screen. So I saw all my data going. So you know, nobody could access it. And then it goes beep. Do you want to restore this iPhone? And then you click yes, and it says cannot restore iPhone. Sarah, it may be the longest story ever. Hey, X5 podcast. <laughs> Wrap it up. Sarah, go screw yourself, please. Oh, no, go fuck yourself. I should say. It, it was a long day for me. Look at that X5 podcast. Look what I'm wearing. The heartbeat stopped. A heating box. <laughs> Brad, I'm not. I swear to God. Go, Brad, you. I, I know that you live in, like, like, on a like a houseboat in Missouri, come ashore, go to your nearest town, which is probably 500 miles away, go to the nearest town, see if they have an Apple store. They probably don't. You probably have a dollar store near you. That's it. Find an Apple store, go in and say, show me the heating box you put new phones in. X5 podcast from the top rope. Let's go. So guys, thank you. Charlie, We were, I just told the story of the phone. Uh, Mississauga, Jade, want to meet you, come to Mississauga. Jadon, dude, Mississauga is 40 minutes from me. You come to Toronto. Why am I driving to Mississauga? The audacity, Jadon. Come here, we'll go for a coffee, man, in Toronto. I can't drive out to Mississauga. I would rather drive four hours across the state of Alabama to get to Pigeon Forge, which I did. It was five hours. Then drive 40 minutes to Mississauga. I know you want to see me, Jadon, but we got, I, we, you got to do it. Pete's on X5 Podcast, so this is for X5 Podcast. Little Gary. Oh, my God. Ba, 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 ba. Gary. Gary. X5, guys, is a great podcast. You can see I'm wearing their hoodie right now. And I'll be down there, I think, again in March later this year. And we're going to be doing, oh, X5 Podcast needs a Johnny Carson. Yeah, that's going to get me copyrighted. But welcome, X5 Podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from a small town in Alabama, just south of Huntsville, north of Birmingham. It's the man with the plan. Better hair than your mom could ever wish for. Give it up for Charlie from X5 Podcast. Here he is. <laughs> hey, big dog. How you doing, man? I'm doing good, Charlie. What's going on? Not too much, man. I'm just hanging out, man. Having a good time here. And hope to get you on the pod again real soon. You will, Charlie. You will. And that's Charlie from the X5 Podcast. We'd love to hang out some more, Charlie, but we've got uh, other guests to get to. Charlie, thanks for coming. Thanks for having me, man. Time to go, Charlie. Okay.
Mark, we're going to need to freeze the couch again. Okay? Thank you. He has a lot of dogs, and the dogs want to get on my brand new uh, couch. Thank you. Burn the furniture. Charlie, you got to do the putt like Johnny. No, I, Pete, screw you. Okay? In your entire attitude, I do the hockey shot. I found my stick, by the way. That sounds dirty. I found my hockey stick yesterday. I thought it was gone forever. I found it yesterday, and it's uh, in my driveway right now. I'm going to go play some hockey later. Do, 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 do. I have not watched the movie about Joy Division yet. Mooskies. Hi, Mooskies. How are you? Christina, thank you for the lovely hoodies. Battery in the car is dead like Ted Bundy. Hi, Miss Piggy. How are you? Did I see any pigeons? That's how you get them to come. Training day. What did I have for dinner? Autumn Force. I had dinner from a mall food court. I didn't eat it at the mall, though. I brought it home. Bourbon chicken. Who's better, Nirvana or Foo Fighters? Lindsay, tough question. Now, Nirvana is obviously one of my favorite groups. Foo Fighters are up there, but Nirvana is one of my favorite groups. But Foo Fighters have such a different, a bigger body of work. Nirvana, you know, three albums, you know, not including the lives. Dave Grohl, who knew back then? I, but, you know, the first two Foo Fighter albums, Color and the Shape and Foo Fighters, self are right up there with, the, with Nevermind and In Utero to me. I love them. Love them. So, uh, you know, I don't know. I'm... I'm not killing the pigeons, Randy. I'm not pretend. I'm calling them. D12 or Eminem? Eminem. I love D12, but Eminem. U2 is better than all the other bands. Autumn, I'm on board with that statement. Bourbon chicken sounds good. It was Boston Kiki for sure. Oh, yeah. I have mushroom beef in it. The be beef with mushrooms, but it's called mushroom beef. Dave Grohl's an incredible artist. You should do a follow up and let us know if she gets. Oh, the Murdoch, Murdoch stuff. I got to get back down to South Carolina. If I do. Yeah, Paul Anker wrote that. My name is Dina. I live on the second floor. Yes, I think you've seen me before. No, I, le I left out a line. My name is Dina. I live on the second floor. I live upstairs from you. Yes, I think you've seen me before. Justin Smith said Foo Fighters is like soccer mom music. Justin, I guarantee you the first two Foo Fighter albums are not soccer mom music. Um, I can see why you say that because they, they do have a more produced sound and kind of they're not generic now, but <clears throat> White Limo is not a soccer mom song. But the first two, the Foo Fighters' first album, no soccer mom these days is listening to that. It is hardcore punk rock. Not hardcore, but it's punk rock. You got a cat named Luca? My name is Luca. I live on the second floor. I live upstairs from you. Is that true, Rico Glias? As well, we never go by sales. Foo Fighters are great. Nirvana's great. You know who knows? Soccer mom music. My favorite REM song is "Night Swimming." You, I thought I knew you. You, I cannot. Hi, Scott. Did you see the Selena and Yolanda? I haven't seen anything. <clears throat> Where's X Five? Where's Charlie? Talk to me, Charlie. What popular 90s band did a cover of Luca? Who knows the answer? Let's do a little trivia. Driver rate's a great stuff. Driver rate, take a break. You've been on this shift too long. I got my spine. I got my orange crush. Okay. What band covered Luca? Luca was by, um, who the hell sang Luca? Not Tragic Hip. Thank you, Alberta. Luca was by Suzanne um, DNA. Suzanne Vega. Oh, here. Thank you so much, Alberta. My sweet Alberta. <laughs> Suzanne Vega wrote it. Do, 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 right? Tom's Diner as well. But a very popular 90s band covered it. My name is Luca. I live on the second floor. I live upstairs from you. Yes, I think you've seen me before. The Lemonheads, Megan on the nose. Evan Dando. What movie was Evan Dando in in the 90s? What big 90s movie, Megan, was Evan Dando in? Did he make a very brief appearance? Yeah, he does at the very end. Well, what am I drinking? Uh, Kickstart Grape Mountain Dew with a splash of meth. 
just gives you that extra boom. Was not singles. Good, good guess. It's a it's a generational movie. Bahaman? No. Mm, the cars no. Evan Dando was in a movie. It starred Winona Ryder. The Seattle tattoo I just got because I love Seattle. Uh, okay, good night, Melanie with a Y. Thank you. Very generous. Randy's leaving. Thank you, Melanie with a Y. Randy's leaving too. Lots to do in the end of PA at this time of night. There's nothing to do, Randy, in Pennsylvania, the state, and especially where I've been to where you live. You have nothing to do right now, Randy. Actually, you have work to do on your Jurassic Park car. Talk to you soon, Randy. My roommate, Reality Bites, AH got it. What was my favorite Big Shiny Tunes album? Wow, Jesse, fellow Canadian. I can't remember. We When I worked at the record store, we sold all those Big Shiny Tunes. I can't remember. Probably, it was good living with you. Uh -huh. It was good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do you know that band is still together? Better than Ezra? They are still together. And every tour is called The Good Tour. Because there's their only, only hit. The album's good. The, no pun. But I don't understand. Why didn't I drive Ted Bundy's car? I don't think it runs, and I don't think the owner would have wanted me to, and I think the museum would have been a little upset if I started to drive it away. Charlie, no! I said at the church, when you brought it up the first time, I said, I'll stay at the I'll stay at the church for half the amount of money. Now it's like, well, now that I'm, you know, I'll do it for more. But I said I would do it before. They was two jokers. Pete and Stephen could couldn't make it past an hour. I'll stay in that haunted church overnight. No point. Sitting around the house, watching the sun play shadows on the floor, searching for signs of life, but there's nobody home. I did not move back to Florida, Karen. That was a joke. That was a joke. Hey, big dog, how you doing, man? Listen, hey, big dog. I think I should stay at the church. Now, just bring me... I'll come down and I'll host the podcast every time. About it. That church probably doesn't have power, so I won't be able to wake up and blow dry my hair. Where would I shower? There's too many intangibles. Tangible? There's too many... There's too many firewalls staying at that church overnight. I just say, I don't care about the ghosts. I don't care about the fact that it's in the cemetery. I just... I can't last... I can't wake up and not be able to brush my teeth and shower and do my hair. Good night, everyone. Good night, Nina. Sitting around the house. How you doing, big dog? Hey, man. Listen. Nickelback to the future? What's that? What? I think there's only one Nickelback. Ever Dano had a bad, bad drug addiction. Of course, Amber, he was in a coma, and he wrote a song about it called If I Could Talk, i Tell You. If I Could Smile, i Let You Know. You are far and away my most imaginary friend. He wrote that song because he was in a coma. When he was waking up, he couldn't talk. When he got out of the coma after he overdosed, and he couldn't talk, so he wrote a song afterwards when he could, called If I Could Talk, I Tell You, and all the thoughts he had when he was laying in bed of people coming to see him. I don't know the bad hum. Oh, Edo, now we're talking. I, it, I, think, I, I think you just asked me a question. It's for... Do I like James? Edo. Whiplash is one of the greatest albums of all time. If you're a James fan, you know what I'm talking about. Right? Uh, tomorrow, Lost a Friend, She's a Star, Go to the Bank. I love James. They have so many good songs. They're, one of their new songs, Beautiful Beat, is amazing. It sounds like vintage James. They had like five albums in a row that were just incredible. Hum. you? I don't know Hum. Thank you, Mike Sorachuk. Oh, what's wrong with Suzanne's dog? <laughs> X5 Podcast asked me, Scott, do you like the new singer Mike? And I just I, I I'm struggling with that last name. I I can't pronounce it, Charlie. I'm sorry. Uh Umstani. Mike Umstani. Uh I, I don't know him, but I love to uh uh hear some of his stuff. If you could send it to me, that'd be great. Lade's a great song, Lade's a great album. Did I ever go on Speaker's Corner? Jesse, I did. I went after the least trade of Wendell Clark. I went on with a bunch of my friends screaming and yelling about Wendell Clark. And then walked to X-Ray's Bar, which if you're from Toronto, you know X-Ray's is right beside. 
And I was on my Dan Aykroyd, and that's where I peed beside Dan Aykroyd. And then he took me upstairs. We talked about uh, comedy and acting because I wanted to be an actor. I was a teenager when I met him. And then yeah, we he interviewed Tim Allen. True story. True story. Fuck yeah. Uh, Sorrow Chuck. Not all Karens. No, of course I don't think that. I'm a male Karen. I don't. I don't. Com I don't complain in pu in public to people. You know, anyway, I don't. I, but but afterwards, I, I have a goddamn fit. It's the Leaf game over. It's four one for Boston. I can't even watch it. I don't. Uh, when the clock, I do. Thank you, Michelle. Where's my girlfriend? She's uh. She goes to bed at six, right after dinner. DB. Do I think Kurt Cobain would like Hero by Food Fighters? Yeah, I think, well, I think Kurt Cobain, don't forget he was, you know, 27 when he passed away. Um, all of our music tastes change as we get older. We like different things, more things. So I think he would have liked it, sure. Who knows? Sitting around the house, watching the sun play shadows on the floor. Oingo boingo, weird science. Doo -doo. Hello. It's me. Thank you, Sean. Hello. I'm sorry, Suzanne. Do I like the band ACDC? <laughs> Karen, you're adorable. You could have said ACDC. Yeah, I do. I saw them live once. They blew the roof off the place. It's crazy. Am I still in touch with Corey Haim's sister? We're still friends for sure, but I haven't spoken to Corey, uh, Corey's sister, Carrie, or his mother probably since Christmas. Louisville, I'm not sure when we'll be back in Louisville, but I would like to get back there. I love that area. Did I have a deep down desire to put on that Gacy Patches wig? You know, I do love my wigs. Uh, where is it? I should have one here. I do love my wigs. This is this is nothing uh, new, but I did. I had no desire. I had no desire. Now I'm a Karen. I had no desire to put on his wig. No. Duran Duran or Spandau Ballet? Duran Duran. Matthew Sweet, girlfriend, good song. Queen's Rank, not very, not, was not never a big fan. I like them. I'd love to get to Colorado. I'd like to speak to a manager, please. I'd like to speak to a manager, please. While I'm recording you, what, where's the glasses? Yeah, here we go. They're broken. That's okay. Oh, no, they're really broken. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm recording you. So you can record me all you want because I'm recording you. That's how that's what I do when I go. That's what I do when I go into stores. Before I even have a problem. Before I even have a problem, I go in and I say, Well, you know what? Before you say anything, salesperson, I'm recording you. I'm recording you. And then I demand something. And I try to find uh hot coffee that I can throw in someone's face. That I learned that from Pete. Always throw hot coffee in someone's face when you walk in a room to set the mood. I look like a SoCal punk. Where are you? And I'm so sorry. I cannot sleep. I cannot dream tonight. Come on down in Ordinary World. Great songs. As I try to find my way in the ordinary world, I will learn to survive. What's up, Dino Nine Adventures? My friends, I love you guys. I miss you. I hope to see you again this year. I liked it this year that you came down to LA to see me more. Because getting to your place is a bitch. But I love it up there. How are the girls? One ear is lower than the others? That's my face. You can't fix perfection. Whoever said that, Al. Bill likes it. I look like a male Karen. That's, yeah. No, I'm one of those that all the time. Like I just be like, hey, what's up? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. My parents suck. Oh my god. My parents, like, they don't understand me. Nobody gets me. I hate all my teachers too. I've been in love before by Cat Cutting Crew. You mean I just died in my arms tonight? You need to come lay my wigs down with some wig glue. Kiki, that sounds dirty. What does he mean? Is that a real thing? Please, Kiki, fix my wigs. I got a new one that I was going to wear in a video last week down south, but I couldn't get it done. 
Anthony Kiedis, give it away, give it away, give it away now. No, no, Jeff, I'm joking. I'm going to come up to see you guys in uh, Pearl Harbor, wherever the hell it is you live. Uh, Pinchin Hills. Oh, I just gave away where you live. Oh, you know, I live in Toronto. You live in Pinchin Hills. Jeff, what are you doing here? Oh, Mr. Give me up the man in the sea, Shady. Hey, Ryan Albanese says, Ryan Albanese, am I pronouncing that rice? right? Rice? Hey, Scott, I enjoyed your videos. So you enjoyed, but Ryan, do you still enjoy them? Or is that you enjoyed my videos? Could you be more specific, Ryan? He says he enjoyed my videos. You've stopped enjoying them completely? That seems to be what the, the, the trend with my channel. People are like, I love this channel, man. You're great. You're awesome. And then it kind of trickles off. And then they're like, Ugh, you fell off, dude. It's just fine. It's better to burn out than to fade away. So I'm so bland though. I'm a loser, baby. So I don't to kill me. Hi, Dustin. Uh, Ryan. Oh, Ryan's ignoring my question. Ryan's a good friend. Ryan has a channel called Going to the Movies. And if you are on YouTube, you can click on it. It's called Going to the Movies and watch the videos that are there. Uh, I say the same thing every time about his channel. It's a channel. So if you want to watch stuff, he has one. Shout out Going to the Movies. That's a Kurt quote, but it's actually a Neil Young quote. It's better to burn out than to fade away, right? Am I right? I think I'm right. I'm rarely wrong. Ask anyone. Scott is in two videos. Thank you, Blondie B, about the MLK. Hey, hey, Cammy Q, what's up? Guys, I want you to do me a favor. Please, everybody that's watching and watching, uh, if you watch this on repeat, and if you've actually made it an hour and 21 minutes on in repeat, I don't know what's happening in your life that made that went what went so wrong that you watched this for this long. But I want you to subscribe to my boys at the X5 podcast. They're really funny. Where the hell is it? Very talented, great people. And you'll be seeing me on there a lot. So subscribe because I'm gonna be on that channel too. I am in the legal leaves are trash. Shut up, Anthony. I can't deal with stuff like that right now. Is this is it still 4-1? If the game's gotta be over. Oh, come on. 4-1, we're losing. 4-1. Uh, 4-1. You like Daddy's hair? Look. Oh, don't wake up. I'm a loser, baby. So why don't you kill me? So I know, I know. Don't know, baby, don't. I'm a loser, baby, so why don't you kill me? Scott, what drugs am I on? Marie, life. Ryan Albanese speaking complete gibberish. I love that crime car. Your video also made me know that they found me. <laughs> you know what, Ryan? I did. I do my part. Next Patreon video this week, Booskies. Oh, other doggies are saying hello to you. Callie's saying hello. Come on. It's okay. Yeah. Do you, you wonder who daddy is with this wig on? I know. Okay. 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 Hi, Shady. This is my dog, Shady, for those of you who don't know. He's my best friend. We had a long talk today about, my, about the phone issues I was having, and he burped and put his head down, turned away from me. Please subscribe to X5 Podcast and 909 Adventures and... Ryan Albanese, whose channel is called Going to the Movies, and it's very good. And then whoever else. But I'm going to get going now, guys. Leafs are going to win the Cup this year, Tracy. That's right. And Tracy, it looks like we're going to be playing out of Florida in the first round, which is tough. Uh, I hate the Florida Panthers so much. I thought we were going to be playing Boston, but we're, we're, we, we've got – the Leafs always – we've won nine games in the last 11, and then, you know, we're losing tonight. Yeah, I'm leaving already, Ryan. I've had it. Jacob Dylan, love one headlight. So long ago, I don't remember when. That's when I say I lost my only friend. Something, 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 something. I turned the engine, but the engine didn't turn. That's a good album. The Wallflowers, that's actually their second album. Uh, something about a horse bringing down the horse. What a good album. You left a Justin Bieber wig? No, I'm not sure what 
I think what I bought it for some video. I, I think I'm wearing it in one of my videos. The 90210 shampoo fucked up my hair for life. You're right. JD Daddy's name is Karen now. But I'm a good Karen. Are you a good Karen or a bad Karen? Hey Siri. Uh -huh. Did that fuck up everybody's Siri? You fuck up everybody, Siri. Step out the front door, cross the wait, step out the front door. Wait, step out the front door like a ghost into the fog where no one notices the contrast of white on white. And in between the moon and you, the angels get a better view of the crumbling difference between wrong and right. Well, I walk in the air through the rain, through myself and back again. Where man, I don't know. That's around here by the county crows. Maria says she's dying through the door. I hear her crying. Why? I don't know. Around here. Sing some gin blossoms. Anywhere you go, I'll follow you down. Hey, jealousy. Hey, jealousy. Hey, jealousy. Foo, uh, Foo Fighters. Gin Blossoms had four good songs. Till I hear it from you. Hey, jealousy. Uh, the other one I was singing and another one. Good, good. Jim Blossoms are very underrated. I've seen them live. They were good. Follow you down till I hear it from you. Hey, Jealousy. And they had one other big one. You can't recognize my voice? Oh, great. Candy Crows are awesome. Yeah, Ryan, we've already been through the joke about calling the manager. Ryan, stop joining my chats with five minutes left. If you came at the beginning, well, 20 minutes ago. Oh, my God. This is itchy. I think I'm... I think I'm getting syphilis, Shady, from that from the wig. Yeah, I saw Jim Blossoms in Detroit. Sing some bush, <laughs> Anthony. I think we know what you mean. I don't want to go. Wait. Love and hate, get it right. Cut me right back down to size. Sleep the day, give it a play. Who about to take your place? No one knows, no one will. Mostly me, mostly you. Do you say, do you do when it all comes down? You want to watch? Yeah, everyone watch my reality bites locations. Thank you, Ryan. You say, what music would cares listen to? Lisa Loeb over and over again. I only hear what I want to. This is for Charlie for the X5 podcast. And you say, I talk so all the time. So, what I thought, what I felt was simple. Yeah, Shady's a little. Uh, when I thought that I don't belong, and now that I am leaving, now I know that I did something wrong because I miss you. There's no methadone in the drink. No. Nope. Okay, guys, I will see you next week. I'm going to do three live chats in March, and one from down in uh, Alabama with Charlie. So, I'll see you next week. I don't know what day yet. How far do I live from the Eaton Center? I got it's not walking distance. Got to drive. That's downtown. Thank you, everyone. Good night. Have I met Lamont? No, I've not met Lamont. You met Lamont at large? No, I, I we spoke a couple of years ago. Uh, but no, great channel, good do good stuff. But no, I've never met him. Never met him in person. So yeah, good dude. Good channel. Works hard. Hard worker for sure. Thank you, everybody, for watching and. Um, Please, Ryan, I all I see is PLZ, and I think that stands for please. Ryan's a Gen Z, or so I don't know what the fuck he's talking about half the time we hang out. What's please mean? Oh, please. Okay, I'll do it. I don't even know what you want me to do, but if you say I should do it, I'll do it. Now I gotta go work on my phones and take this dog out. Love you all. See you next week. Watch my video tomorrow, or it could be up Wednesday. Depends. Okay? Thank you, everybody, for watching. Charlie and everybody who donated, thank you so much. Melanie, Flo, everybody. Cooking with Kim. Everyone. Thank you so much. See you later. See you next week. Okay, Shady, let me do this.